Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing my final Halloween makeup look slash final look at the series. I don't know, but um, it is my final look. If you guys missed my first two from last week, I will uh, put them up here and down below as well if you guys want to see those. Today's look is going to be much, much more simpler. I originally had the idea of doing a half uh, skull makeup look. Last year I did um, the bottom half of my face and this year I was thinking of doing only half of my face but I thought well since I did it last year I don't think I need to do it again so I kept looking for other Halloween makeup ideas that were kind of easy to do and I came across the pop arts uh, makeup and I actually have seen this for many years and I always thought it looked pretty cool so I really wanted to try it this time. It is supposed to be a quickie makeup look for those of you who need last minute um, Halloween ideas so it's meant to be really quick and the first half of this video is mostly going to be just regular makeup whatever so we're just going to like fly through that and um, yeah let's get started. To start off, I'm using the Cover FX Blurring Primer because it makes my skin look a bit smoother and I like how everything else looks right over it. I'm using the NYX White Eyeshadow Base and kind of cutting a crease on my eyelid. This is more of a guide really as I will be applying a shade right over it and I really want it to be as vibrant as possible. Using the NYX Primal Colors Press Pigment in Hot Yellow, I'm applying it right over the white base. I'm going to go back and forth between these two black liners, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and the NYX Matte Liquid Liner for my winged liner. To get in the crease as precisely as I can, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner and I'm drawing a line on my crease right on top of the yellow shadow. I did fuck this up a bit, but it's not perfect. Um, but I don't do this often, especially on my crease, but I do go back and clean it up as best as I can. With both eyes done, I can start on some minor details like drawing fake lashes right on top of my winged liner using the Hank and Henry Twickety Black Liquid Eyeliner. For my face, I'm using my Bare Minerals Pure Brightening Serum Foundation because I'm trying to finish it and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I'm using the ColourPop Brow Boss for my brows. I usually do my eyebrows first, but I knew I would have a hard time if I applied foundation after. So anyway, I'm only outlining the shape with the brow pencil before filling them in with the NYX Primal Colors Press Pigment in Hot Black because brows and pop art looks are very dark. And since it is black, I'm taking my time with it. Thankfully, it's only eyeshadow, which is easier to clean up. And done with both brows, <laughs> they make me laugh a lot because they are too dark and expressive for me. <laughs> Using the Hank and Henry liner, I'm drawing some lines next to my eyebrow and other areas of my face to really accentuate the frown. I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk on the lower lash line, making sure to bring it a bit lower than usual to make my eyes appear bigger. Now I'm using an eyeliner to draw a lash line underneath and flicking it a bit on the corners to make some falsies. Red lipstick is kind of iconic in these looks and also in a lot of comics it seems like so I'm using this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso, that means kiss in Spanish. Drawing more lines near my nose and lips and I'm also outlining the lips with the same liner, I don't remember which one it is. To make the lips come to life a bit, I'm using the NYX White Liquid Liner to add some lines and I am so sorry, I'm kind of blocking it with my mirror. Now I'm adding some tears on my under eye area using one of the liquid liners and I'm filling in with a blue shade from the My BH Cosmetics 88 Matte Palette and I'm also highlighting it with the white liner. I'm also outlining my entire face with a liquid liner, drawing lines in the contours of my cheeks, jawline, chin, neck, collarbone, and yes, boobs. 
Now I'm using the NYX white base and a circular tip brush like it really is round so it's much much easier to make the white dots all over my face. I think this part was just so much fun. I think it brought the look together and I can't believe I almost left them out. I didn't want to do the entire face with dots so I only selected a few areas of my face and went for it. I think it looks quite nice and fun this way too but that's it. All done. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I am actually really, really in love with it. I, I like it way more than I thought I would. Obviously, I said I wasn't gonna do all the white uh, dots everywhere, but I feel like the fact that I did them in only certain areas looks pretty cool. It's definitely a little bit harder because of the details, like really straight lines and all of that. That was really, really tricky because I don't really have a steady hand, but I also do like the lips. I definitely wanna do more um, art like that. The tears are not as, great as I would have liked but I feel like uh, pretty much everything as a whole looks amazing it looks super awesome <laughs> um, I didn't bother doing my hair because well it's like getting really late and I don't know <laughs> sorry this is the final video in my Halloween series this year um, I know that I only made like three of them but to be fair last year I did like seven of them so I will have both of those playlists down there in the description box for you if you guys want to check those out. Like this video if you liked it. Follow my channel and all my social media and my blog. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your support. And I'll see you on my next one. Also, before I forget, happy Halloween. <laughs>